Hey, I'm Julie, Faith Ann Balzer, and today I'm going to show you how to make this super cute watercolor Mary Mary card. I'm working on a piece of watercolor paper that is four and a half inches wide and six inches tall. I have this stamp that I carved a while ago, which I think was meant to be a flower, but I figured out that if I turned it upside down, it could be a Christmas ball. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp it several times on this piece of paper. It's important to note that I am using an ink that is going to be permanent and waterproof once dry. So you can see that I've stamped my Christmas ball at several different heights, but that means that some of the what was a stem or a string is not quite the right length. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ink up the end of the stamp, and then I can see where the end of this is and where the end of this is, and I can match them up and create a continuous line. I think it's really great to see if you can repurpose your stamps to be something other than what they were originally intended for. So I'm using a permanent black pen, which again is going to be waterproof once dry. And I want to create some extra lines on here. So I'm just going to put a piece of scrap paper under here for when I draw off. And I want to make it look almost like there's tinsel or streamers. So I'm just creating a whole bunch of different lines at different lengths. And I'm not worrying about them being straight or being spaced properly. The whole idea is that they're supposed to have a kind of fun and festive look. A little bit messy, in my opinion, it makes this look even better. And then at the end of every one of these lines, I'm going to go ahead and draw a little dot. And I might go back now and add a couple more lines where it feels like it needs a couple more lines. And then I'm going to hand write my sentiment down at the bottom. So in order to keep my hand writing straight, I'm simply going to place a see-through ruler so I can, let me remove this other piece of paper, so I can see exactly where the bottom is so that I know now that this is a straight line and I can go ahead and write in my sentiment. I think everyone hates their handwriting, but it's a great idea to start to get a little bit comfortable with it because it's a wonderful personal touch to add to all of the things that you make. And now I'm ready to paint. I'm keeping this very loose and messy and just dotting some color into my ornaments, but you can see why I had to make sure that everything I used was absolutely going to be waterproof. And I'm letting the colors just mix together. You don't have to use the same colors like I am for every single ball. You can make everyone different. You could get, if you're a more detailed person, you could certainly paint little detailed designs. You could make striped balls. You could do all sorts of fun stuff. You really have the opportunity to customize these and play around with them. Then I like something that has a little bit of energy and splashes. So I'm going to go ahead and get my brush really wet, dip into some color, and then splatter the paint all around to add that kind of festive touch. And I like a little bit of contrast, so I think I'm going to head into some teal and do a couple little teal splashes around. Now where it touches the wet paint, it's going to kind of merge into it and where it's on the strings around here, it's just going to be these little splashes. So if you don't want it to merge into your wet paint, then wait for that paint to dry before you do any splashes. If you're okay with it, then go ahead and do your splashes. This is just some indigo that I'm now adding to, and I might even put a drop of indigo in that ball. So I'm gonna wait for this to dry before we do the finishing touches to our card. So now that my watercolor is dry, I want to make sure to make these look a little more like ornaments to draw like just a little scribble here where it's almost like that little cap that attaches the ornament to the string. And then I have a gold paint pen and I'm simply going to add some polka dots to my balls to make them a little more festive, give them a little bit of a shine when they catch the light. And finally, I'm going to add that little dot of gold to each of the black dots that I doodled on here at the beginning. 
And here you go. You can see that little dot of gold just glinting in the light. So now it's time to adhere my card front onto my card base. I'm going to leave a larger margin down at the bottom and a smaller margin at the top. And that's it. I'm all done. Thanks so much for watching. For more tips, tricks, and tutorials, be sure to check out my blog at balzerdesigns.typepad.com, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and check out my online classroom at balzerdesigns.com.